This is a brief intro on how to update inventory on Amazon from QuickBooks using T-Hub. For T-Hub to update uh, inventory on Amazon, uh, it needs to know how to match products between QuickBooks and Amazon. So first thing we need to check is how T-Hub is set up to match products between QuickBooks and Amazon. For that you go to QuickBooks settings, change QuickBooks company file, and here you notice uh, item matching field is set to item name. This means that the item name from QuickBooks would be matched with the seller SKU, the seller SKU on Amazon. So the seller SKU on Amazon has to match the QuickBooks item name for Thub to be able to update quantity on Amazon from QuickBooks. The first step in updating inventory on Amazon is to actually download a product list from Amazon. So Thub knows what products actually exist on Amazon, so it only updates those products. Let's say you have 100 products on Amazon and 5,000 products in QuickBooks. Now, there's no point in up trying to update 5,000 products from QuickBooks to Amazon and get 4,900 rejects from Amazon because those products do not exist on Amazon. So what Thub does is it downloads a list of products from Amazon. That the first step you do is to click on this download products button. This sends a request to Amazon to generate a list of products. Now Amazon might take five minutes to 30 minutes to generate this report. Uh, TM has sent a, re a request to Amazon to generate this report. The status would appear as submitted. If you click on that, it will give you details about the process and status. The request has been sent to Amazon to get a list of products and Amazon has to generate that report. Now um, you can click on this download products button uh, after a few minutes and the status should change and the status would change to ready and then done. Uh, and then you would see the count here change uh, when it has actually downloaded those products from Amazon. So we just have to wait for a few minutes and see uh, when that report is ready. When the status changes to ready, this means Amazon has successfully generated the report with the product information. Now click on download products again, and this will download the products from the report from Amazon. Once the download is complete, you'll see the count uh, here. It will show how many products it got from Amazon. You can click on the show button and that will show you the products that it downloaded from Amazon. Uh, this is the uh, seller SKU that it downloaded from Amazon. And if these match uh, the QuickBooks item name in your QuickBooks, Thub will be able to update uh, quantity on Amazon. Now, if you sell uh, FBA items, it's a good idea to also download uh, FBA products. What this will do is it will tell Thub which products are FBA. So Thub does not send quantity updates to FBA products because otherwise uh, Amazon would move uh, the FBA products from FBA to merchant fulfilled category. So if, if you're selling FBA products, you should also download FBA products here. So Thub knows uh, which products are FBA and which are merchant fulfilled to be able to update properly. Now, uh, once the products have been downloaded from Amazon, uh, you can proceed to updating uh, uh, one product on Amazon just to test. Uh, before you update on Amazon, you should uh, check your settings uh, here under options for updating price quantity on Amazon on Web Store. Uh, here you should have the option selected to update inventory stock online and you can select the on hand quantity or available quantity. So uh, based on this setting, Thub will send the available quantity or the on hand quantity from QuickBooks to Amazon for updates. You can check this option, reduce quantity by items on orders not posted to QuickBooks. What this will do is, let's say if you have uh, two orders uh, from Amazon and they have not yet been posted to QuickBooks by Thub, if you have this option checked, then Thub will subtract items on those two orders before sending uh, quantity updates to Amazon from QuickBooks. 
So if QuickBooks has 10 uh, quantity of a widget and there are two orders uh, from Amazon which have not yet been posted to QuickBooks uh, with two quantity uh, for the same widget, T-Hub will send the quantity 8 which is 10 minus 2 uh, to Amazon for update. Now to test update you can simply select a product you can double click on this quantity field and it will show you the available quantity and the on hand quantity uh, and quantity on new orders that are not yet posted to QuickBooks. And <clears throat> to update uh, the quantities on Amazon, you select the product uh, and you click on update this product on Web Store at the bottom. This allows you to update one product for testing, which is uh, good for setup. So click on this option and this will now send the update to Amazon for that product. And uh, if everything goes well, the publish status on Am uh, here will change to green, which means that T-Hub was successfully able to send the quantity update to Amazon. Now, if you don't have uh, a product on, a corresponding product on Amazon, on your Amazon account, and you still try to update uh, that product on Amazon, uh, T-Hub will skip that and it will not update that product because it could not find a matching product from its download from Amazon. Uh, if you want to update multiple products, uh, you can select one or more products from here using the shift key and click. And you can click this option, update price quantity of selected products to web store. What this will do is it will update selected products uh, to Amazon. Now of course you don't have to do the manual update we are doing only to test. Uh, once everything is set up correctly you can use the T-Hub Automator to run in the background and that will run every few minutes and download products from new products from Amazon and so on, update the quantity of matching products from QuickBooks to Amazon. That completes the uh, inventory uh, setup and update between QuickBooks and Amazon. Thank you.